Greetings and welcome to another episode of Nyamings with me, Crystal. Now today you've caught me in Spring Farm, Montego Bay and I'm here to meet a doctor. It's a very interesting story with this one. His name is Dr. Aris Latam and for the last 40 plus years, not know him eat, not cook. As a matter of fact, he has not had any water as we know it for that length of time. So I'm very interested to find out why he lives this way, how he survives, because I cannot conceive of it, but more importantly, what he has to show us on the plate for me to eat today. So we're gonna meet him and I hear, I have some exercise to do, so I'm dress for the occasion. I'm willing to climb a tree if necessary. So let's find out what he has in store. All right, so I see my guest this morning. He's looking very, very strong, right? No, I'm saying all of this to say, Dr. Latham, <laughs> thank you so much for having us. Yes, thank you for what here. is about to be a beautiful story told on Nyamings. <laughs> 72 years old, he is barefoot right now, preparing to climb the coconut tree. But my big question for you, you really not drink no water for 40 years? Living water. That's why I'm going to catch some right now. Yeah, get some living I, water. I'm going to the coconut spring. So, what <laughs> am I going to eat today? Because a, a part of your story is that you, you don't cook food. You don't turn on a stove, <laughs> put on the fire, any meal. Why? No, we well, we can't cook with the sun out here. You see, it's it reached my pot right now. The sun is the only chef on the planet. Cook for everybody, okay. not just for me. We're going to start off with coconut water because from what I understand, that's the first thing you ingest every morning. Internal shower, just like me just take the external one. We can't now forget. be it right a morning time then because my first <laughs> cup is usually a cup of coffee. So let us get up in the tree. Tell me how I can help you. I can't let, climb it. Let us all. But let all you join me. two here yes one for me one for you how was that i mean that oh. was really hard well it's yoga it's a meditation coconut yoga coconut yoga yes. <laughs> one thing about the coconut it's a filter it filter the water bamboo straw bamboo straw <laughs> and Thank you know you. So what you do with the lime and the lemon well that's what we are doing now we're going to take we, so what what we're doing we're doing the internal shower with this here so Anyway, we, we pull that out. Thank God, coconut water is so nice. So, we'll put some lime juice. A little lime in your coconut water. <laughs> so what the, the lime is now, is the soap for the internal cleanser. Yeah, this is the morning soap. You know, you could have do, do some uh, Cinco so Bible. It's better with the lime though. I'll tell you. Doing this now, you allow the body to clean itself out, and then you got to do some fitness. Okay. So, we're running in the morning. Getting, and you run close to the water's edge, why? You run right close to the water's edge, because you, you, you get the, the nice soft uh, oh, spot. Ah. Yeah, the nice soft spot. And also, you want your foot in, in the water to start getting the temperature getting your body acclimatized to the temperature of, of the environment. So, let's swing to that boat and see if Oh, yeah, you are! Oh, I think I need a... No, man, Eric, you're fast. I need a dip now. You need a dip after that. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> Mega catch my friend? <laughs> and you take a dip. Chrissy, hold on. <laughs> no, man, no. Eric, please. Woo. So, so far my morning has been off to a beautiful start. The more time spent in nature is the more ease and calm you feel, right? So I wasn't sure that I was gonna enjoy doing all of this coconut water instead of coffee tea, no water. Um, you know, lifestyle seems unreasonable and strange, but the more knowledge you get, the more wisdom you get, it's the easier it is to make a good decision. Yes. They wash up the inside and they wash up the outside. A mineral bath, that. <laughs> yes. No, of man, Aris, you good. Aris, give me a two pack of so. <laughs> All right, so yes. back to the house we go. And what am I going to get now that you have exhausted me for the morning? Well, 
Oh, and boost you with some quick energy. Quick energy. Juice. A juice. All right. Fruit juice. Fruit juice. Let's do it. Move from coconut tree to beach, and now I'm at what looks like a beautiful little market. You know, the sun cooked the food in the growing process. Right. That's the cooking period. So everything here, come ready to eat. Okay. Well done. So we put some cut up OTET apples in the blender. See it there, good to go. And we're gonna press it. So you need a press bag. So we have a press bag here. Apple gym right there. <laughs> you ring it tight. So you so just put the pine right in your blender. We have to put some coconut water, just the coconut water, 10% sugar. Less than a minute and it's ready. See? So, the press bag is the magic. Yes, look at her. So, I'll grab some cinnamon leaf, four of them, and you just put it right in <laughs> your blender. So, you just put a look of, look of juice in there. Cinnamon busts up gas. <laughs> okay. They drive a wedge between, you know, the, the starch and the protein, and it keeps the, 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 uh, the sugar moving. So we have put passion fruit juice. We have two cups of orange juice in there. Mix it with a knife or a spoon or something. Get it ready. Now what are we gonna make now? Well, you know, it's still morning time. So in the morning you just have fruit, juice and whole fruits. Fruit salad, you can just eat your jackfruit. That's put right. some wild berries right in there. Cause it's all about gourmet when it comes to sun-fired food. So we're gonna take the papa and we're gonna dice it up to put it in, in our fruit salad. So we save some of that peeled pine and we dice up some and add it right in here. We're gonna add a few of our apples and here we go with our OTET apples. And we're gonna put our sliced mangoes, Barbados cherries, fresh coconut cream. Okay. Juice from our own native coconut. There's no water involved. This is the creme de la creme. Mm -hmm. How do you use the cream on this? Do you just drizzle it on? Uh, yeah, yeah, you don't drizzle it. You pour it. Okay. Yes. So we drink first. We, we drink toast right to the eyes, always. Toast. Yes, we toast okay. each other, not the glass. All right. So, mmm. Mmm. Nice and tangy. Yes. The passion fruit, of the, course. The passion. Is really the overriding sensation here. It's a, a very light hint of sweetness. So people who would have been worried about the amount of pineapples that went mm. in there, because by themselves those pineapples were pretty sweet. Yes. But you've balanced it the um but the flavors by adding your your um tart. To the sweet that's so correct the the, the, the um, passion fruit is really rising to the top of it here that's so is right. it is it best to finish this completely and then eat that yes we should never drink and eat at the same time why because it, what you're going to do you're going to soak up the fruits with the juice and your body now have to go back and wring it out the way we wring it out in the cloth the body going to wring it out so you don't want to overwork the digestive system okay the juice gets absorbed into the intestinal tract within five minutes so let it go in, make it move on, and that way the body can utilize the energy that it can generate from the juice right away. Otherwise, it's, this is going to hold the juice back. Now it's time for our fruits, and there's no yes. special way to do it. Well, no, we, we, we're going to dip it, it out. Just scoop it out, just so. So bring your plate, bring your plate. We have you right here, see it there. There you go. Yes. Mm. Mm -hmm. It's creamy and nice, eh? That's, that's... Yo, it's, it's, it's one way to handle this fear that people have that natural food is boring. Mm -hmm. It's to use it to make its own sauces, gravies, and flavors. So I love that this cream is going over fruit, which has never happened for me, mm -hmm. unless you're using yogurt. This is roughage. This is, this is sweeping out, mopping out, scrubbing out, scraping out. And you're getting ready for lunch and dinner. So breakfast is the most important, used as an opportunity to eliminate whatever toxins might be inside. We're going to go for a break. When we come back, 
we move into live food number two i don't know what that meal is going to be <laughs> but i will allow myself to be surprised because so far the surprises have been pleasant now we to come back Welcome back to Niamings and thank you for staying with us. We are still here in Spring Farm, Montego Bay with our bossy chef or <laughs> italist, um, Alris Latam. Now, he has doubled up on the professional hands in the kitchen. Now, tell me who we have here. Yes, we have Chef Neil. Chef Neil. Straight from Mandeville. So you Oh, oh, Mandeville the thing there, of course. <laughs> After introducing me to a breaking of the fast with yes, fruits, yes. what will you have me eat now? Well, we're going to bone up on the protein. Okay. So the main feature of this segment is the protein, lunch meal. Oh, so you're doing two things? We're doing two things. So you're giving me a salad with the nut meat? Yes, with the nut the meat sop and, and the sour sop sip. Then for dinner, mm -hmm. we're coming with, with the ackee. Okay, and okay. what you're doing with it? So, it's, we're gonna rumble with the aki. We're gonna start off with the crown on the shake, the sea moss. So we soak it, it dry, we soak it eight hours, and then it's ready to go. So we're putting a half a cup of soaked sea moss in the blender. We're putting two cups of coconut water. Let me blend that down, Neil. We're gonna blend it down smooth. So we're gonna put one quarter of a teaspoon nutmeg. Let's put one teaspoon of vanilla. We're gonna put one cup of cane juice. So we have a cup and a half of raw cashew seed going in the blender. And this, this was soaked for 12 hours. You soak all your seeds, all your nuts, all your grains, all your beans before you use them. Remove the enzyme inhibitors so that the digestive enzymes in the seeds are active and ready to break it down. I'm gonna fillet our sour sop. I'm gonna cut slices off and Neil is gonna go ahead and add our sour sop. Now we're done with the juice. We are move on and make our nut meat. So we have one teaspoon of the dry sage. So let's put this down in the bottom. Let's open up the blender, Neil, and that go in with the other rest of the sweet pepper and the uh, celery. We're gonna put our onion in there as well. This are going right there, a half of our onion. And we're gonna put some black salt. Kalanamak from India. So we put in one teaspoon of black salt, the only salt we recommend. So we put in our rosemary herb, one tablespoon of rosemary, bust the top. And we're gonna put two cups of soaked almonds. Going right in. Beet. We're gonna add our, our beet. So we just fuse it in together with the spatula. And here it is. So this is a rich nut meat that we blend up with a high powered blender. What we're gonna do is we're gonna go ahead and just shape it. Next now, green bush style, a bush salad. We're gonna do a zucchini pasta. So we're gonna switch that around and we're gonna go ahead and make cucumber ribbon. So we just plug the seed. So this is the big key to enjoying grass food. It have to chop very, very fine. We have the cilantro, the spinach, kale, fennel, the scallion, uh, we have the parsley. Now we have some, some olives. We chop these things them to a nice small size. So we get our pear, because the pear is the lubrication for this particular dish. The fat in the pear is the fat that we're using it for. So what you're gonna do, you're gonna toss this up. So we have the nori seaweed. This is the one then put to make the sushi and wrap it up. But we have two of them sheet. We're just gonna tear them sheet up just so. 
then we put it in a dry blender and flake it down fine so we put the flake seaweed so lots of minerals you need to eat seaweed every day it helps counteract the effects of radiation cell phone and TV and all them things computer the iodine in the seaweed the trace minerals in the seaweed is what we are look for so we do that and then just a little olive oil just to, 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 to grease it a little bit and this is where our green bush come to its final fruition ready to be served with our nut meat and or cashew shake with coconut water food itself is a fuel it's nothing but a fuel it's a fuel for us to generate you know our life essential energies from there's many medical educational institutions that are sharing today the fact that human beings do not need animal food consumption in order to live an optimal life okay Ari so where are we now just list out all the things that we've been able to do so far well, we, look we, 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 we do the, the, the sour sap cashew shake mm -hmm. and that's ready also we did the uh, the almond beet meat okay yes and, and well, it, it, it looked like like a bully beef business <laughs> still you know <laughs> but so but, it so it reminisce and then of course the green life salad the green okay. bush okay yes where did you learn this hand <laughs> from my heart wow <laughs> but just you know hanging out with my grandmother and my mother in the kitchen helping granny to grate the coconut and wash the dishes wow. so we just you know keep my eye upon her yes well <laughs> we're gonna share some more in-depth information with you about Iris Latam. So my question is, what do you know about Dr. Latam? Take a look at our future. The 2012 second edition of Oxford's Encyclopedia of Food and Drink in America acclaims the raw food movement owes much to Dr. Aris Latam. He is considered one of the fathers of gourmet, ethical raw food cuisine in America. He debuted his raw food creations in 1979 when he started Sun Fired Foods, a live food company in Harlem, New York. Dr. Latham was born in Gatun, Panama, in the Canal Zone. He is a direct descendant of an African-Caribbean family of culinary griots who has become a world-renowned crusader in the area of wholesome foods. His culinary interests have been shared with many people across the globe. For Dr. Latham, the perfect day starts with a drink of fresh coconut water infused with lime juice and then an hour's exercise in the sun. This, he claims, helps to cleanse the body of built-up toxins. He has been a strict vegetarian for almost 50 years and it seems to be paying dividend as he has not been sick since starting this journey. He feels strongly that those who suffer from chronic ailments do so because of a lack of food knowledge and discipline about what they should eat and what they should not. He cautions the world and suggests from here onwards that mankind should let their health become their wealth. It's a big chef, you know. <laughs> very, very, very important, right? <laughs> so, so far he's He's impressed me with what he's able to do with the live food. I'm looking forward to tasting these final dishes that he has prepared and will complete when we come back from this break. So don't move. Nyaming soon come back.